Hey guys, Donish Kasamali here, back for another tutorial, but this time I'm making some t-shirts. Let's make all over sublimated t-shirts. I'm gonna sh make two styles. One, this all white, fully sublimated front and back, and number two, this one, it's got a white face so you can sublimate the full front. It's got black sleeves and a black back so it appears to be like a black t-shirt and they call it the blackout shirt. You ready? Let's do it. So, a little bit about the sublimation printer we use. I just sent the prints through on this uh, Muto RJ900X printer. It's got a 44 inch width, and the transfer sheets that we're sending through for the all over prints, one of them is about 37 inches wide by about 30 inches tall, and the other one for the blackout tee that we're gonna do is about 23 wide by 31 tall. So you definitely need a big, large format printer to do it the way we're doing it. And I'm gonna show you how with also a large format heat press. So again, a 44 inch wide printer is what we use. So I think you'll need at least that. And I've seen it go bigger, 64 inch and beyond. And all over print shirts coming up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you see all of our work and all of our videos in the future. All right guys, so the blank shirt I'm gonna be using is uh, by Jerseys. It's the model number 21M, and it's 100% polyester. That's very important. If you're sublimating shirts, you wanna make sure it's 100% polyester and a white shirt for the best results. Can you sublimate 50-50, 50% poly and 50% cotton? Yes, but I'm not a fan because it comes out really faded and vintage look. Can you do 65-35? Yes, but again, I'm not a fan. I've always done just the 100% poly shirts, and this one's a great one to start off with if you're uh, looking to give it a try. All right, so first thing I'm gonna wanna do is lay the shirt flat on my heat press. And that's the whole trick here. As flat as you can lay the shirt, that's gonna give you the cleanest print. Because what we're doing is we're sublimating on a pre-existing shirt. So I'll explain more about that in just a second. First step will be giving it a quick pre-press. Okay, and what a pre-press means is you're not pressing it for the full like 30 or 40 seconds. You're just pressing it for like two to five seconds to give it a smooth kind of iron out. And then what you wanna do is you wanna get out all the wrinkles. I'm gonna get out all the creases as much as I can. See all these little creases right in here? You have to try to get all those guys out. Okay, then I'll give it a second pre-press and it's because I'm trying to get a few more wrinkles out. Now that I've got the wrinkles out, uh, I'm gonna go get my transfer sheet and lay it all over. Be right back. So here's my sheet. This design has a little fish on the center with some fishing scales and it says gone fishing in the corner. So who's gone fishing? If you ever watch basketball, the teams that get eliminated from the playoffs or even in football, they'll be like, they've gone fishing. So you wanna make sure that your, sh your transfer covers the entire shirt on the bottom, the sides, and the sleeves. So the transfer sheet is actually much bigger than the actual shirt, like about an inch or two all around. You can see that here. And then you wanna check for centering. Check that your logo, in this case, the little fish guy is centered and under the, under the, under the front collar, we have him like right here on the chest. And you wanna make sure you've covered all areas and then you're good to go. And so I've got about, I've got it set at 400 degrees in about 36 seconds. So that's what I'm gonna go with. 
So we do offer all over print shirts just like this on silkysocks.com. You go to the design lab and then you upload your own photo, your own artwork, and you, you'd get like your own all over printed t-shirt. So a little bit about this heat press I'm using. It's a 48 by 40. It's called a large format heat press. And I've got these imports uh, from overseas, from China. And this is what I'm going with. But you could do your own research and see what works for you if you were looking to get into the business. <clears throat> All right, let's reveal and see how that came out. Damn. Woo that is nice. Look at that color. It's hot. I'm going to let it cool down just a second. All right, so I want to show you that up and close. You can see that print, super vibrant, super nice. Now, the thing with the shirts is, so this is what you call a pre-made t-shirt that we're doing an all over sublimation print on. So you will get some areas where the print cannot reach. In this case, it's pretty slight. You know, you see just a little bit of that maybe a little bit under the armpits. And that's pretty much unavoidable with these all over sublimation shirts. We call them slight imperfections as part of the process. And the reason is because we're not sewing the shirt after we're making it. We're, the shirt is already sewn up and then we're putting a full transfer sheet over it. So as you can see, we try to get all the creases out and straighten it up and that's how we get the best possible result. Um, but little bit of these imperfections are going to be on every single shirt and that's what, kind of what makes the shirt a one of one another process uh, that is a, is out there is cutting and sewing what that does is they actually have the just the panels of the body like just the body panel the sleeve would be separate and be, each panel would be separately sublimated then they have a sewing department to sew the shirt together after the fact silky socks we don't have a sewing department or a cutting and sewing operation. That's not what we kind of focus on. We focus on good, high quality, pre-made blanks, and then we sublimate them. And uh, what that does is it gives us a nice, uh, faster kind of lead time and uh, no minimum quantity. And it kind of works for us in our shop and keeps it moving. So I just want to make you aware of the two different kinds of processes. For best results, you want to pull out the first sheet of paper. And this is standard craft paper, and we'll use uh, the second sheet here. And we'll go ahead and lay out the back. Hopefully I didn't get the ironing out of it too much when I was picking it up and stuff. Yeah, our staff, the, the girls here at Silky, they'll take their time doing this to every single shirt. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-press that. Press, these creases will get out a little bit easier. Oh, that's about as good as I can get it. I am going to go with it. So it's nice and smooth here. It does have a little bit of creases at the top. But let me go ahead and go with it. Back side of the Gone Fishing. And cover all four sides and 400 degrees 36 seconds and we are ready to go. So yeah one thing with the 100% polyester shirts they're not as generally cotton is known for like softness and comfort but these shirts are made with like a cotton feel even though they are 100% poly so it does kind of take a little bit getting used to when you want to actually wear it. All right, second side. 
inside. Let's see it. But there you can see the all over backside. If you're gonna order a shirt from our website, just make sure you know that you're gonna get something like this. Pretty sick. We offer them as one-sided print or two-sided print. So, yeah. All right, let's do the next one. The next one we're gonna do is the blackout shirt. So what's cool is I only have to sublimate one side of this so it's gonna be a little bit faster. And let me go ahead and change my craft paper and then we'll jump right into it. So I'll go ahead and lay this blackout shirt down like so. When you have your shirts in stock, it helps to keep them nice and you know folded neatly. If you have them wrinkle folded, then you're gonna pay the price when it's time to make your shirt. My three second pre press done. So, one thing we do is we use little cardboard pieces to cover the black sleeves. Uh, we just cover them just a bit so, because that ink is not actually gonna be too visible on the black sleeves, but the extra bleed area does have some visibility, so we like to cover, minimize that by just using some little black uh, cardboard pieces that pick up the side, the ink on the sides. Then this design is called the cigar. So you guys that you know enjoy and smoke a cigar from time to time, it's tw with the 23, it was inspired by Michael Jordan's shoe, I think the Cigar Sixes. All right, so let's uh, throw that over here. And again, same thing, you want to check that you're covering the entire, the entire um, top, bottom, left, and right. And this transfer sheet size is 23 wide by 31 tall. And I want to make sure my circle logo is under the neck. Good. Good. And... Good, I think I'm ready. Send it through. You know what's really cool? You can even go on the Silky Socks app on your phone and make all over print shirts and blackout shirts. So imagine doing all this that I'm showing you right on your mobile phone. Right here's the t-shirt. Here's the blackout t-shirt. I can go image from camera. Boom. Let me grab a photo. Let's say, let's say me and my, my daughter here. Boom. Bam. That's me dunking her in the basket. Right there on the shirt. Just like that. All right, let's see how these came out. So I think these blackout shirts are a lot easier to make and they look uh, less imperfect, if you will, because I have a less printable area and it's just a lot easier to sublimate. Here's the result, as you can see. Very little dead spots all the way in the top, in the corners. Smooth, silky, black back. Ooh enough making let's go and put these on and see how they really feel alright guys so you see us we're here, 
with our freshly sublimated shirts, the cigar, and the gone fishing shirt. And hey, we're out here with our cigar and fishing, you know? So appreciate you guys for tuning in. It's been a fun journey up to 4,000 subscribers. Appreciate you guys. If you're new here, do subscribe. We focus on everything sublimation, socks, apparel, and we're gonna bring you guys a whole lot more content. But until then, we're just gonna be here fishing and smoking our cigars, all right? Alright Andrew, how you feeling? Silky. <laughs> did you have fun recording this video? I did. Except uh, I got a bad cigar taste in my mouth. <laughs> I'm not a cigar smoker, so a little different for me. But I enjoyed it. The show. Alright man, thank you. The model number, I forgot the model number. Let me check real quick. Ah. Let's go fishing. Oh, if you're, in the, yeah, if you're burning it. Got it? Just a tip. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. <laughs> she got it. She got it. Got it. Woo! I have a big one. It's a big one. Mine got away. You actually caught something? No. No? Oh, shit. I saw you yanking around. I thought I was going to see my... I've lived here for 15 years. I've never seen anybody catch a fish. Oh, no. It's we're just, not even, we're not even casting. You're not... Oh, my God. <laughs> we're just having fun. It's that new invisible filament. I love it. <laughs> Good luck yeah. with your nine line there. <laughs>